Lovers, welcome back. As you guys know, I am a nail polish fiend. I have probably like 50 different models of nail polish and I absolutely love painting my nails. I usually paint my nails a couple of times a week, but I had an incident last year where I slammed my thumb in the car door, shut it all the way, ended up losing my thumbnail, and I've had a lot of trouble growing that nail back out because it keeps peeling at the end. I've also had an issue, I broke two nails on my other hand and they were peeling as well. And I was using all different kinds of treatments and things like that and things were getting better but I also used to be a nail biter. I quit biting my nails when I was 34 years old. So I bit my nails for 34 years. So as I have these short nails, it's been harder to keep them out of my mouth because I don't realize that I'm doing it. So I came up with this brilliant plan. Um, I did not want to go back to having fake nails at all. I only had three nails that were a problem. The rest of them look fantastic but I wanted to find a way that I could sort of cover up those three nails that were broken to keep me from biting them and to give them an opportunity to kind of grow without having to be in water while I'm washing dishes or, or get wet in the shower and constantly weaken from all of the different elements. So last time I was at the store, I looked at the press-on nails. If you are anywhere close to my age, and I'm 38, you had an experience with the Lee press-on nails when you were like in middle school or high school and how horrible they were because you would put them on and they would just immediately pop off. So I was really hoping that I would have a completely different experience this time and I did. So I just wanted to tell you what my experience was, what I bought, and you know just kind of how that went. So I picked up these Nailene nails so natural in the everyday French. I did pick them up in the short size. And um, this is, it comes with 28 nails. One of the reasons why I like these is because they didn't have a square end. I thought they would look a little bit more natural because they had a rounded end. They're very thin. They also came with ultra adhesive tabs and glue. So this is what I discovered. Um, I, my nails do not have an even surface. Some of them are very oddly shaped. I did not have an issue at all with getting these nails to go on flat. And this is what they look like right now. I did need to trim a couple of my nails shorter so that they didn't stick out of the end, but I think that the way that they look is fantastic. I did try the adhesives. Um, and those lasted for several days, but they really don't stand up to the amount of abuse that I put my nails through. They lasted maybe, you know, three to four days before I started to get a couple of them popping off. Now the ones that were popping off were my index fingers and my thumbs. And that's probably because I use those the most for everything. The rest of them I didn't have any kind of issue with, with the adhesive tabs. So then I tried the glue and the glue is just your regular nail glue that you would find in the store, not the nail glue that you're gonna get, you know, where you have to, to completely destroy your nail. So I did try the glue. This is a week and a half into having these on. I've had to replace one, and that was probably more my fault that it came off because I was digging through the back of our closet and kind of bumped it real hard but I was able to just glue it right back on. So things that I have done with these nails on. Um, I have scratched kids backs and they really like it. Pet the cat. Um, I have opened pop cans. I have, um, you know those um, pencils where you have to peel them with the string um, and it never works. I have taken care of the rest of that paper with that. Um, I have um, pretty much, you know, typed most of the day every day and I haven't really had any issue they don't feel like they're moving at all they didn't really feel like they were moving with the adhesive either um, until those couple were getting ready to pop off and then I could feel some movement but I don't feel any movement at all I have removed them um, once um, a couple of them that were starting to come loose these two and these two 
Um, actually, no, I didn't have to do my thumbs. I only had to do my index fingers with the glue. Um, and I did, as they were starting to kind of pop off, I did peel them off. And I just used a very gentle nail file to kind of file that glue down on the back of the nail. I had a little bit of glue residue on my nail, but it came right off with a light buffing. And it did not damage my nail at all. So I'm really, really pleased with these new press-on nails. It's not something that I want to wear all the time, but if you are like me, and when you break a nail, it is causing you all sorts of problems. It's peeling, it's breaking, or you're a nail biter, and you don't want to go to getting the acrylic nails or gel nails or anything like that because it tears your nails up. This is a great product for you to try to keep your actual real nails covered up without damaging them. Keep them out of your mouth. <laughs> you know, if you are a nail biter, you can do this, you can quit. It takes three weeks to break a habit. So pop some of these on for three weeks, keep your fingers out of your mouth. You will be surprised at how much growth that you have underneath these at the end of three weeks. And you're not gonna damage your nails. If you have one nail that breaks, you can paint these with nail polish. So if you have one that breaks and you just want to cover that up so that all the rest of your nails look even, this is a great solution without damaging that nail underneath. And this is the only brand that I have tried is a Nailene. I will be getting a couple other types of nails. Um, I bought some, actually let me grab the ones that I bought, they're just right here. Um, I bought these Impress. This was another brand that I saw. So um, I have not tried these yet. These are really super cute. The whole reason I bought them is because they have these little skull um, charms on them and I thought they were too stinking cute. Um, I wish the nails had been black to go with the skulls, but hey, the black ones had like bows or something like that. I don't, if you're going to wear black nails, you're really going to put bows on them. I mean, is that the same girl? <laughs> but um, anyway, these um, are ones that just have a press on. So I will let you know what I think about these. I probably won't do a whole video on it, but I will probably do an Instagram post just to give you guys um, a little heads up what I thought about the impress ones. And if I see any other brands, I may pick up like one or two more because I really want to give these nails a chance to really kind of get some length on them so that I can get some strengthener and some polish on them and have them look really nice. So again, I will show you what those look like for the press-ons. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.